Okay, so here we are again, the same old project. Today I'm going to try to have a new transistor here, you know, from, uh, from the old amplifier. Uh, GFE, I think it's GFE X transistor with better frequency and hopefully let's see if we can have some better results. Okay, there's the amplifier here. But first, we have to change this amplifier because this is the this is a 10 RX and 0 TX uh, kind of a casom. And now I have to make it for 17 and then 6 TX, okay? I lose my hot air and uh, I'll try to keep the parts in there just in case I need them later and also it's crazy no they, they are they are like like glued some of these parts let me see the resistors here no chance to take them out this is so amazing but let me have some some flux and uh, some soldiering of mine I know that's kind of a little lower temperature. I said my goal is to, to keep the parts in place. We are good here. And this one, yeah, we are very good. Okay, so this is down there. Perfect. And this one should go back in his place in case we need it for later readjustment. This piece of wire I've been asked, this is not critical. Can be any shape, any size. As long as it's doing the job, everything is fine. Very good here. And we managed to keep the parts in place. Okay. Now I have to take that out too, a little flux, no, I use my hot air station, but before anything, let's have this guy from up here. This is so fun, it's not one, this is not in the schematic, this is a coil, but they say it's a capacitor, maybe it is. I'm sorry, but it's destroyed. Transistor. No, before, before anything else, let me have a test. A noise test. Again, the radio. This goes to the minor. Okay. This kind of cable. Radio on with the same settings like usually. Maximum gain. Amplifier on. Okay. Noise floor. Yeah, that's fine. Power supply. 12 volts. And power in. 73.2. 72.5. Yeah, the amplifier is working obviously let me put the antenna not so much activity today pretty quiet yeah I can see some shy these are interferences from my monitor here and the radio freezed again oh this cable makes me crazy Oh yeah, so the, the amplifier is working, obviously. That was the idea of having this one moved. Once again, noise floor here, 79.2. Power supply, 75.0, 74.5. 
79.2 okay let's change the transistors you see here are places for another two filters maybe another variant who knows this is so funny same story I couldn't take it out first time with the air it's looking like it's glued somehow to the PCB I couldn't take out the filters too yeah old classic way hope it's still alive Mm, not so much okay let me get a transistor from this amplifier shall we use the hot air yes I'll use that Oh, this is compromised. Beautiful. You see, I don't know what they are doing that. It's a kind of protection not to reuse the, the parts or whatever. I don't understand. Let me have this down. Can I fit it in there? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's the position here. Yes. Perfect. looking good people what do you think is it working or not hmm? let's see surprise <laughs> okay this is the output here sorry let's see let's see the noise 79.6 yeah, it's okay and power on Let's see the noise. Pam pam. Nothing. What? Antenna on. And it's working. But it needs some better. Okay. This is very clear. Alright, let's do that with the soldering iron. Okay. Look at the noise. Power on. Ha! 79.4. Almost no, no, no. And look there people we have a working amplifier with a perfect noise amazing nice look at this guy <laughs> huge difference look let's have the antenna on power on And we already have a working amplifier. Very nice. Automatic gain now. <laughs> Absolutely perfect.
ok, nova antena same story, 49.6 ok, point six. noise floor at 79.5 power on this is impossible almost no noise <laughs> we did it people yeah you can see the spikes the, those are signals a lot of signals okay but like I said, it's pretty quiet tonight. Once in a while. Okay, now let's compare this. Let me have the antenna to the radio directly. Well, let's not forget this antenna. It's in my office behind the window. So uh, I don't have expectation. Shall I try another antenna? You know something guys? This is so funny. Okay, now. Oh. One there. I'm back. Back to the amplifier. Yeah. Okay, so I think the problem is solved. The transistor is in place. Let me see some voltages. We should have around 800 million base. 741. Yes, right. Uh, of course, emitter nothing because it's to the ground, and we should have around. 4 volts or something collector 355 perfect it's a working amplifier okay so everything was too good to be fine you know those noises <laughs> amazing and now being too enthusiastic i forgot to do something very important and that is an amplification test a gain test let me show you all right this goes to the minor or in fact to channel one here okay i'm not using any uh, attenuator because simply don't need it but of course i need adapters okay we don't need to do a test of uh, the signals we already have a signal going through okay yeah there we go so this is the akason with the new transistor on board and let's power it on and there we go there we go okay do you see that 1.196 that's the amplification with the new transistor on board we got like 2.1 db and with the cable and connectors like 2.5 maybe 3 db amplification what i'm trying to say finally the idea is very good the results are encouraging the point is that i have to find the right transistor for the job anyway of course, this amplifier can be used like that. Even a 3 dB uh, amplification with that noise signal, it's, it's brilliant. Uh, I need something maybe around 12 dB. So uh, I'm still going to have some tests and uh, still searching for the right uh, transistors or the right uh, parts. And uh, I'm pretty sure in a short time, We'll put this Akasom amplifiers on the on the line. Okay. 
That's it for today, people. I hope it's useful. Like always, please like, please subscribe. Uh, if you have any comments, please write them down. I'll be happy to answer. And uh, okay, let's not forget to have some fun sometime. <laughs> okay, see you. Bye.